Well, hey everybody. Um, we got uh, a few animals here that haven't made an appearance on the on the YouTube channel yet. So here we go. We're gonna debut these bad boys. We got ourselves uh, some Holsteins. We got uh, 20 of them here. Bought them as feeders. They're nine, about nine weeks old. And uh, they're coughing just because they're chowing. Show you guys the ration a little bit. Got a lot of corn in it. Basically, uh, anyone familiar with feeding uh, finishing cattle, it's a 60 mega cal diet. A little higher protein than uh, than what we feed our beef calves, but these are a lot younger, so that's why we got them on more. Um, anyhow, we're uh, found a good use for this old pickup box. Well, newer pickup box, but as you can tell, somebody somebody backed a combine into it, which is why the flatbed's on the pickup. And uh, a little bit different scenery than the ones we done the last year at. We used an old hog hog building there, and it has cement back here. And we added a water tank right over there for these guys. We're gonna go out there and walk around a little bit. I'm pretty happy with how these are. I've had them for oh, probably three weeks or so. So. They're gonna be pretty, pretty big critters here. For the most part, they're looking good. Um, but this water tank here, I just made out of a front wheel assist tire. Cut the rim out, or the bead out. But I did leave part of it on that side. I left part of it on that side, and I got a Hudson float there. Right in the water there. Um, but what I did, I cut the bead out. And then I put, I think it was like six bags of uh, satcrete in the bottom and had this pad here from an old drinker that was here. And uh, yeah, we just put the tank on top. But yeah, we're a little, we got a little head on these on feed. Been switching these bad boys to once a day feeding. Come on, let me pet you. But anyhow. Your barn's a mess. We've had some rainy weather. They need they need to be rebedded, but it is what it is right now. But see, their outside pen is pretty decent, so we're been getting so we're locking them out of the barn, so they can't go in there unless it's raining. So, but anyhow, I thought I'd debut these these critters today, and and I just we had these bunks we had for a project that we never got done. And this is all cement here in their pen. And we've got the pipe and the post up in the front of the bunk because they can't reach clear to the front. They're too short yet. So we got them, uh, we got the pipe and the post laying here so they can't push their feed to the front and then can't reach it. So, but they got horns yet and I have to get them dehorned and uh, castrated as well eventually here, but. But, but yeah, I guess there's, you know, a lot of people say these Holsteins can't make you any more money than anything else, but I found that they, uh, if you feed them right, they actually seem to be able to get a profit with them. I've been really happy with the profit I've got from my last few groups, and every year I just keep getting more and more and more. And next year I'll probably end up getting a few more. It looks like we got some more bunk space here that I can use on both ends here. So, so I'll end up probably filling up these bunks next year. Um, the main thing is there's so little initial cost compared to a black animal um, that it just makes it the profits there. If you have a little bit of death loss or something, it's not such a big deal now. Now for me to go from the bottle, clear to finish, um, kind of lost interest in that. You know, the bottle feeding costs, costs a lot of money to feed all that bottled milk. And uh, to get them weaned and to get them started on feed, it's 
a lot of extra work and you know I'll just let somebody else do that for me I got a, a guy that does a good job he has a lot of them um, and I can get them from him so but anyhow I guess this is all all for this video thought I'd just debut these and their new pan and anyhow guys we'll uh, see you guys on the next one and uh, comment rate and subscribe and we'll Catch up with you later.